Hello, this is James Farher from internetbizuni.com and in this video I'm going to be looking at Shopify themes. So the areas of focus I'll have is explaining exactly what a Shopify theme is. I'm then going to go through a good way I suppose to, to choose your theme, then how to customize your theme and a couple of little tips along the way as well. So I'm going to go straight into the, the live website for Yoga Panda Store now, just to show you what a Shopify theme is. So you can just see here, it's the structure of the website. So a theme is a template that determines the way your online store looks and feels. Um, it allows you, I suppose, it, you could look at it this way. A Shopify admin area is more like your back office or stock room, and then your online store is more like the sales floor. So you can see here, you just can see the design, it's, it's, how, it's how the site is structured, the different features that your, your, uh, your Shopify store could have. So the theme is like your architecture then, um, like the design of your sales floor. Um, there's loads of different layouts and different features as well that you can get. So now I'm gonna bring you um, to the area where you can actually choose a new Shopify theme from your admin area. So we go back here to the back end, so your Shopify admin area, you click on online store here in the left menu, and you'll see here that the current theme, and this is the, the default theme that Shopify puts in place, so the one we just looked at is called debut, and you can see it here at the top. Uh, but where we're gonna go now to look for a new theme is straight down here to the Shopify theme store. Now I'm going to focus on the free themes in this video because I think some of them are really nice. Uh, so when you get to the, the Shopify store area, you can actually see that it's laid out in different ways of searching. So uh, trending this week, um, great for small inventories, different loads of different categories for different industries and so on. Then there's loads of different minimum style. Um, so then the area I want to use is I go to all themes here. And I'll just give you the reason, I suppose, why I'm saying to start off with a free team first. You could end up spending like $160 on a team uh, when you might have picked one that has most of the features you want. And you also get a free hour of design time with your Shopify basic plan from Shopify. So that allows you to add in some extra things that you want. So maybe a little bit extra functionality um, on top of your Shopify free team. Uh, so this can be very powerful and it can save you a lot of money as well. Um, and there's other options then, like there's a, a, a developer company called Task Husky, who are very good value as well if you wanted just a small add-ons, I suppose. Um, and they offer, I suppose, more comprehensive packages as well. But we'll stay focused on our own free team here first. So I really like this um, search um, the search setup here, it gives you a broad range. So things I would like is on my product page, I would like tabs as an option so you can talk about different things in different areas. So I'm gonna pick simple for that reason, but there's loads of different ways that you can select um, different types of stores. So you can just see all the different options here. Search by navigation type, so sidebars. It's, it's fairly comprehensive and there, there's in most cases are all available as free teams. So I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna choose tabs. And I'm gonna install simple then, so add theme. And that'll just process for me. So now we've installed simple to our Shopify admin area. So now I want to go down and have a look at it. So this is where it populates when you add a new team. So debut hasn't been replaced as the current team. So you're safe to add new, new teams like this. So I'm just gonna show you the, uh, the, how to customize your team now. So how you would do it for your current team. So the one that's available to any customers that might get there is click on this customize button here. So, but you can also customize other templates that you don't have live at the moment. So you can just use that customize button and there's more options here to rename a team. Um, it's all very useful and you can preview this team as well, even though it's not online. So we're gonna go into debut and I'm just gonna show you around the team customize area. So we're here in the team editor now and I'm just gonna explain the structure for a moment. 
So the structure of every team, um, every Shopify free team for certain, is that it's all designed in sections. So you can see the sections here. So like this image with text overlay is one section. Then a featured collection is another section. Um, this is another section. Now you can get to those areas to customize by using this left area here. So say I want to change or add, add a, uh, an image to the slideshow at the very bottom of the site. Um, all I have to do really is just click on slideshow and it brings you to that area of the site. So say I want to add an image here. Um, we'll just add any image really, a free image here. And it's not very yoga related, but it'll be okay for this example. So I'll just say yoga time. And we'll save that. So that's as simple as it is to, to, like, to add an image. Um, so we'll come back out of there again. And you can add new sections as well. So say you want to add a gallery or you want to add, there's loads of different options. They're different as well, all these options for each theme. So you, the only way to really learn what your theme can do, the one that you choose, is to have a look around and troubleshoot. So I'll just add rich text here just to show you how. So once you click on that, it gives you the option to add it. Then it brings you back out to the rich text area. So you can decide to display it differently. You can talk about whatever you want here. Um, so that's that correlates with your talk about your brand. Um, and this all correlates with the, the text that populates underneath. Um, and you can change the size of the text and things like that. So we'll just save and we'll go back out. I suppose saving is a very important one. Just make sure you're doing that as you go because you don't want to be working on something and then to lose it. Um, and I just want to repeat something I said earlier on that the reason I would push so hard for you to start off definitely with a free theme is that you only get an hour of free design time from Shopify on the Shopify basic plan if you are using a Shopify free theme. So if it is like any theme that you have to pay for, that's called a third party uh, theme and you wouldn't have that option. So I, s small steps, I think, is, is the best way to go for most people. Okay, so that's that's really the, the sections kind of covered. Um, so you can design each page of your store. So the, re the way you'd get to each page then is you can have a look at uh, the different types of pages on your store. So like the password page, products page, collection pages, um, blogs, your cart. So you can edit all those from your, your team customized area. So if you click on the cart, enable, enable notes would be one of the extra features you can uh, have for people in your cart area. So we'll just save that. So that's for customers to, to um, add some information that you would need to have for whatever product they're um, looking into. So that's how you'd get to every different page to customize it. So if you wanted to change the product pages, uh, then you'd go to the left section here for product pages and you can change the structure a little bit. So you can make the image bigger. Uh, you can show a quantity selector. Um, these are all very important in how you want to to set up, I suppose, and th th this new dynamic checkout button is really cool. So it, it allows people to just go directly to the cart, not just add it to the cart um, from different areas of the site. So just play like another one. Like the only way to do it is just to play around with it and get a feel for it. So we'll come out of here for a second, and these are your general theme settings. Then, so you can set up the color scheme throughout your whole website here. Um, it it's very important, I suppose, to get that right. Um, then the typography, so the different um, text styles that throughout your website and the sizes. Um, then into social media, so how you would do this is say you'd go to your Twitter site, just because it's the first in line here, in, onto your own profile page, copy the URL, paste it in here, and it'll actually populate uh, in the footer area of your website. So you can do that for all the different um, social media platforms and video media platforms. So it's easy to set that up as well. Uh, then your favorite con, uh, you can just select that here. So that comes up in the tabs area of uh, your internet browser. Um, I do choose to leave it blank in most cases at the start. Uh, and then your checkout area, there's some settings you can change. So just for your, your checkout, um, you can add in your logo to it so customers are seeing that consistently or like all the way through uh, to buy in your product um, and there's loads of different settings you can set there 
um, and you can further change your checkout settings by going to your admin area and the, there is like you can get to it directly from here as well so they've made that really easy um, I'm just going to save here now and go back out and that is um, the team customize area covered and if you have any other questions for me on uh, Shopify teams even a team that I like or um, anything at all on it make sure you ask in the comments and also remember to subscribe so you can keep getting these videos thanks very much Thank <laughs> you.